Gluten Boy is back because today we are making cream of wheat cereal. Some of you guys might know this as farina, like Italian baby cereal. Very nostalgic. It's basically just wheat ground up into a fine powder as oatmeal is oats, as uh, pancakes is wheat flour. So pretty comparable preparation to other grains. It's just somewhat unique and definitely a uh, very, very nice flavor. Uh, since it's baby cereal, it, it does have like a very, very smooth, mushy texture if you're a geriatric or whatever. So uh show you guys how to make it. It's very nostalgic for me. I used to have it as a kid. I like it a lot. And uh, I'm happy that uh, we found the product. So my eyes look okay in that lighting, but in, in this lighting, which you guys saw yesterday, they look kind of scary. Kind of scary. I don't know if it's the the cheeks or whatever, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we sort it out in, the, in a month or two. Yeah. So I saw this product and I was like, oh my god, I must have it. Uh, we just got it on the foods website too. Uh, organic creamy wheat hot cereal. I'm only disappointed that their cream of rice, although it's organic, it's cream of brown rice, which is very high in arsenic. So uh, Bob's Red Mill, if you're watching this, make an organic cream of white rice and I will sell it and shill it as much as possible. Uh, on the ingredients here, just organic wheat. I'm guessing this is uh, partially whole. I'm not sure because it says there's two grams of fiber. So, I mean, if this was whole wheat, it, it would have more than two grams of fiber. So it's actually going to taste decent. So, you know, we don't have to worry about it being uh, some kind of nasty whole wheat because it, the refined stuff always just tastes better and it's fine because we're eating it for starch and carbohydrates. As with all my stuff, I use Mountain Valley water for the water source. Uh, I put a little bit of sugar in there to sweeten it up. And if you're really hungry, you could probably do it without sugar. The flavor is okay. Uh, just some coconut oil for fat, salt to season it, and I add a little bit of vanilla extract and vanilla powder uh, as well, just for some flavor. So all this stuff, guys, is available on the foods website. We even have the vanilla now. We have the sugar, salt, coconut oil, every single thing besides the water is available on the foods website. And the cooking instructions are on the back. Uh, since we don't have a microwave, obviously we're going to use the stovetop instructions. Uh, there's also a slow cooker, which I don't know, maybe you could do some overnight stuff. But it's real quick and easy, so let's get started. We can do everything in the pot, which is nice and easy. The only thing not easy about this is this stuff is like glue. Uh, so we have three quarters of a cup of our creamy wheat hot cereal. A nice pinch of salt, vanilla powder here, a little pinch of vanilla powder. I did three tablespoons of sugar last time. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't quite enough, so we'll do four. And I don't usually eat all of this, so some of you guys that are afraid of sugar, it's not only one serving. Maybe a teaspoon of coconut oil in there. So for three quarters of a cup of the cereal, this recipe calls for two and a quarter cups of water. So it's three times as much water as cereal. And we added some sugar, so we probably wanna do like two and a half cups of water. And then when the liquid's in there, I just put a drop of vanilla extract, just a drop. Very important to do this off the heat when it's cold because uh, this stuff will clump up and you will not unclump it. It's nice and mixed off the heat. So now we can turn the burner on. So you want to bring this to a boil, cook it at a high heat for about three minutes and then let it stand for two minutes. Just got my breakfast sausage over here courtesy of Frankie's Free Range Meat to go with our cream of wheat. So we're just going to stir this for a few minutes. You could probably make this in milk. It'll be a bit tastier. Uh, you could add a little bit of cream and butter at the end as well, uh, which will, will be really, really nice. Now this thickens up really quick. I'm actually gonna start adding some more water to it. Now if you count calories, which I don't and I'm not a fan of, I will mention, and this includes oatmeal as well, if this is made with water, it's, it's fairly low calorie for the volume of food you're eating. You know, at, at most you can only eat like three or 400 calories of this stuff and it's, it's a huge, huge, huge bowl of basically porridge. 
So keep it moving, make sure the bottom doesn't burn and the heat's being evenly distributed. I mean, it's definitely been three minutes, so we'll adhere to our recipe. I just turned the heat off. And now we'll let this rest for two minutes. Yeah, this is about the texture you want. We really needed to add that extra water, otherwise this is gonna get like really, really gummy and thick. Now this takes a long time to cool off and it's much denser than oatmeal. So what I like to do is I put it on a large plate and then I usually let that sit uh, a few more minutes before I start having my breakfast. Because when you put this on the, the cold plate, the heat distributes evenly, it kind of cools off a lot faster. If not, you know, you're gonna be eating liquid lava. Or well, is lava technically always liquid and then magma is solid, I don't, I don't remember. So I'm gonna try this real quick for you guys. I'm not gonna actually sit and eat breakfast yet because I woke up way too late and I have to edit and upload this video ASAP, so I'll probably just go do that and then I'll come finish eating this. Uh, however, we must do a taste test. And all the ingredients in here are organic, so we're removing the agrochemical concerns, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides. That's the most important thing of health, guys. It's remove the negative. People focus too much on, oh, this food's bad for you, that food's bad for you, this is the most nutritious. The most important thing about your diet is that you remove all negative inflammatory factors and those foods we chose, very, very minimally inflammatory. We're not concerned about those agrochemicals I mentioned uh, and we're giving our body carbohydrates, fuel it needs uh, for both energy as well as to feed our gut bacteria without poisoning ourselves, key point. And if made properly, it's delicious. It's a little sweet, because I do, actually it's, it's okay, because I do three tablespoons of sugar, it's not enough. Maybe we gotta do three and a half. It's pretty good. Actually not too sweet. If you put any less, you might not taste the sugar. I, re I really like the wheat flavor. Because if I made a bowl of oatmeal like this, I wouldn't really want to eat it. But this stuff, like if you're trying to gain weight and maintain weight, this is really good for that. I really like, I'll say it again, like just the flavor of the wheat for me. I like it way more than oatmeal. And then you can like skim across the outside. That's cooling off a lot quicker. Very delicious, very delicious, uh, very nostalgic. I, I love this stuff. And then I used to have the Gerber one when I was a kid, but that has like fortified vitamins and stuff in it. I think they use the fortified wheat in the Gerber baby cereal, which is bad. Very tasty. I mean, I'll sit here and eat this whole thing. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, we showed you guys all the ingredients. They're available on frankiesrangefoods.com. And uh, I'm glad to be able to bring you guys high quality organic stuff as affordably as possible. And this is, you know, what I've been eating for my detox diet. We showed you the grocery haul uh, yesterday. Everything's available on there, guys. I wouldn't really put maple syrup or honey in this. I like this just as is. But if you do want to do a little bit of dairy, I would just put maybe like a tablespoon or two. Uh, not two, just maybe a, like half a tablespoon, a tablespoon each of butter and cream in this. And I think that'll make it uh, even better. So as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.